DB Richards from the 2300 Wrestling Podcast, and I am with Notorious Mimi for Wrestling's Angel. Oh my gosh, so much stuff. Congrats on um, Apple TV and the Thank Monster Factor Show. Thank you. That is amazing. And it was a blast to film, and I'm so excited. We're going to find out soon whether or not we get a season two. So, like, fingers I'm crossed. hoping. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. My fingers are crossed because I am ready for a season two. Me too. If they don't do it, we need to find somebody else to work. Someone will, someone yeah, gotcha, because everything you guys did. And the cool thing about it all, you talked about you had horses. I did. Do you, yeah. do you don't have horses anymore? Or? Um, so my mom still has two of the horses we once oh, had. Yeah, yeah. handed off a lot of them to people who are still more active in like, yeah. the equestrian community. But we have two of the ones who are too old and retired to really be in active use right now. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, no, I might be ruining this video. That's freaking awesome. Yeah. I visit them a couple times. They're doing good. That's awesome to hear that. I always let my guests go first. Okay. Because Ultraviolet didn't want to go I'll first. I'll take you up on the invitation. Oh. Oh, oh I thank you. <laughs> that, was, that was nice, too. She was thank giving you. me a microphone for Yeah, time. good luck, yes. So, we know that you started in your career so early. How old was that again? Uh, just before I turned 15. I was 15. 14 and like 11 months or something like that. So how was it to tell your parents that you wanted to be a pro wrestler? Uh, I was really nervous at first just because none of them were really fans of wrestling or anything like that. They weren't like anti-wrestling. They yeah. just also weren't like into the sport. Yeah. Um, but it, it, they went... They really just went for it. Like the second I told them that it was something I wanted to do, I was really fortunate to have them be super supportive of everything I expressed interest in. Um, yeah. Which I feel super, super lucky for. Um, yeah, I, it could have been stressful, but they were super supportive. I immediately went to like a couple youth clinics through a, a company called IWF. Okay. Um, I don't believe they run training schools any longer or anything like that, but it was it was a really cool experience. I was very lucky to get to go there. Yeah. So what's the best advice Danny Cage ever given you? Uh, focus on the basics. Get a good foundation first. Sorry, I'm trying to also make sure I don't lose too quickly. <laughs> I, I'm okay with losing, but I'd like it to take a minute. God damn it. Um, I'm okay with losing, but I'd like it to take more than like 30 seconds, ideally. So I gotcha. I gotcha. That, that's, that's what we're going for here. Um, any other questions? I think yes, I, I got questions one. all day. You know what I mean? So going to down the um, NXT. It's not my turn. Oh, uh, uh, I won. Wait, yes. where? Oh, yeah, you won. Ah, I won. Where's Violet? <laughs> Violet. <laughs> She's so distracted. Yeah. She told me I had to win. So you had you had to win. Gosh. I was so Thank into good. the questions. I just won. Yes, yes, yes. That's the answer. That's Do awesome. focus on the questions. Yes, yes. Violet, I won. <laughs> so, okay, I, I was not going to ask you that question now. So, tell everybody your social media. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at the Notorious Mimi. You can follow me on Twitter at Notorious underscore Mimi. And in general, if you're trying to find any of my other pages, just look up Notorious Mimi online. You'll find me. Thank you very much. Thank you so much <laughs> for having me. Before you get done, tell everybody where we're going to find you next. Um, the next place I'll be wrestling is next Saturday at Passion at the Monster Factory. I'll be wrestling Miranda Vinette for the Supersonic Championship. Awesome. And we'll see you in the ring.